Georgette Seabrook Powell was born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1916. In 1920, she moved with her family to New York. Georgette did well in school and graduated from Washington Irving High School. She also studied at the Harlem Art Workshop and the Harlem Community Arts Center. At only 17, Georgette was accepted into Cooper Union Art School. In 1935, Georgette received the school's highest award, the Silver Medal, for her painting, Church Scenes. Georgette did not receive her diploma in 1937 as planned. However, in 1997, her achievements were honored by Cooper Union, and in 2008, she was given the Lifetime Achievement Award as well as her diploma. To help hold the United States out of the Great Depression, the WPA program was developed. Georgette was selected, still a student at Cooper Union, to paint murals at the Harlem Hospital as part of this program. The way you wear your hat. Her murals at the hospital were known as Recreation in Harlem, depicting black life in Harlem in the 1930s. The hospital was unhappy with the murals because they felt they were too black. Georgette responded by painting a few of the figures white, but also turning others with their faces towards the background. Litigation followed because the hospital was still not happy. After being boarded up and surviving a fire, in 2012, Georgette's murals were restored and put in the hospital's murals pavilion. Georgette married Dr. Wesley Powell in 1939. They remained married until 1959, having three children. Georgette learned about art therapy from Edith Kramer and Eleanor Ullman at the Turtle Bay Music School in New York City. Georgette worked under Ullman in the psychiatry wing in the D.C. General Hospital. There, she also supervised Master Level's art therapy interns. Georgette founded Operation Heritage Center in Washington, D.C. in 1959. Today is known as Tomorrowland Art Center. Georgette became a registered art therapist in 1972 and received her BFA from Howard University in 1973. The way you sing all key. At Tomorrowland Art Center, Georgette combined art and mental health therapy, as well as taught classes and developed art in the park at Malcolm X Park nearby. We may never, never Georgette was known for her compassion and empathy. In the 1970s and 80s, as homelessness increased in the D.C. area, she painted many homeless figures, drawing attention to their plight. She was outraged by what was happening to them. In 2008, Georgette received the Pioneer Award for Lifetime Achievement for all the work she had done in developing art therapy. In her lifetime, Georgette exhibited over 72 times in many countries, including the United States, Nigeria, Senegal, and Venezuela. Georgette died from cancer in 2011, but had raised awareness and funding for art therapy throughout her life. In addition to painting, Georgette was also a skilled printmaker. After her trips to Africa, Georgette began experimenting with multimedia art, including African fabrics. 